Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I wanted to set a few dates straight with you guys uh, for the iOS 11 public beta. So as you all know, the dev beta is currently uh, out and being signed. So if you're a developer, you can hop on the iOS 11 uh, beta train. However, if you are just a common person, uh, it's a little bit harder to do so, except I do have a video uh, stating how to do that um, on my channel, which you guys can go check out. However, if you are uh, kind of wanting to stay on the 100% safe side of things, uh, the public beta will be released this week. So what does that mean for us? First off, we did not see the public release, not beta, just the public release of iOS 10.3.3 last week. So I was expecting it to drop last Tuesday. Uh, instead, we got like dev beta 4 or something uh, last week. So that's kind of odd that they didn't release it. Uh, I know there's been some issues with uh, reverting back from iOS 11 to iOS 10.3.2. Uh, but iOS 10.3.3, maybe that's why they kind of held off because there's some fixes that they need to do in that one just to polish it up. If this gets a little confusing, uh, I do apologize because there's a lot of .3.2s and .3.3s. Uh, but just to keep it simple, uh, I think iOS 10.3.3 publicly, not beta, will be released this week, probably tomorrow on Monday. And the reason I say this is because I think iOS 11 public beta will be available on Tuesday to well, everyone who wants to publicly beta test iOS 11. So that's kind of my thoughts on the timeline. Um, worst case scenario, they push uh, the iOS 11 public beta to Thursday. However, I don't see this happening because in the event that there's a glitch, uh, in case you guys didn't know this, in software development, companies like to bring out new versions on a Monday or Tuesday, particularly a Tuesday, uh, sometimes a Wednesday, but usually Tuesday is the sweet spot because it gives the developers enough time. You know, Mondays, you're kind of like tired and shit. Tuesdays are better. And if you release something on a Tuesday and something ain't right, like there's a huge bug, you've got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to push out a new release before the weekend. If you release something on a Friday and it's got a huge issue, developers don't want to come in on a weekend to fix it. I mean, I'm sure they would because this is Apple, but uh, they don't want to do that and they don't want to pay them overtime. So uh, that's why a lot of companies you'll see releases on a Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, possibly a Monday. Um, but anyways, that's my predictions. That's what I think is going to happen. We'll find out tomorrow. They might release public beta tomorrow for iOS 11, which would be awesome. But I'm still expecting 10.3.3 public to come out tomorrow, possibly Tuesday, but probably tomorrow. Uh, and iOS 11 public beta to be on Tuesday. So we'll see what happens in case you guys don't know. I'm super excited for iOS 11. It looks like it's going to be an awesome iOS version. There are a lot of changes. Um, Siri has a more natural voice, the notification center, uh, control center, uh, all that stuff has been switched on the iPad, the app switcher, drag and drop features and the dock at the bottom. It just looks more like uh, Mac OS. Um, but if we uh, go public here, public. So it says Apple plans to release a public beta in late June. So that means this week for sure. So we will see it this week. So if you guys are excited, uh, drop a comment down below. I believe it will be the third beta. So they've already seeded two betas out already. So dev beta three and public beta one will be basically the same uh, version. So just keep that in mind going forward. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a thumbs up and subscribe. Over 5,000 people already have new videos coming out every day. So be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.